bittersweet moment here. Maybe the last time you're looking at the 440. We don't have a skidoo. Well, maybe I switched to skidoo. You wouldn't. We got to talk to Levi LaValley. Well, I had some questions with it, and he answered the questions. Perfect. Who's Tabs? Well, oh, yeah. She ain't drove in four years. When I came out earlier, I was like, she's brisk out. But I got this good FXR gear on now. There's nothing out here. No, I'm going to be great. Right. Tommy and I were talking quite a bit. He's got some plans for next year already. He's really jumping the gun on stuff. Big plans. Big plans. Literally big. big. Long plans. Long. long, long, big plans. So today we're just going to hit some ditches. It's it's cold out today. I don't know how long these cameras, I, I feel like I say that in every dang video, but the colder it is, the less time we get with these cameras. So we do got a GoPro on Tommy's new helmet here. It actually came with the mount. We're going to get into the ditches before the uh, GoPros start freaking out on us and hopefully get you guys some good, good stuff. You going to hit a jump today? Maybe. Like maybe over the road or something? Yeah, at least 50 feet, so 50 would be a good start. Not a bad start. If you could get 50 under your belt, then you're probably good to go 100 by the end of the season. Yeah. Frozen, that's for damn sure. I don't have hand warmers, yeah, it does. Don't work, not when you're going fast on a Polaris, right? This thing right here, it doesn't have a lot of power. We're leaving. Oh, oh you take it. We're out of here. So, when I was backing in your, your driveway, I was looking around, and I was like, Man, wait a minute, it's like he's a sled down. He sold it. Well, guys, bittersweet moment here. This may be the last time you're looking at the 440 on this channel. Man, she's looking good, too. 
This was a hard move. This was definitely a hard move. A lot of you guys hit me up on Facebook just showing your support for the channel. I think it was uh, over 70 messages, 75 messages, and all but like three or four were people that were just supporting the channel. So, although not what I was looking for on Marketplace, definitely do appreciate the support, guys. Like I said, this was a tough move to make, and uh, it really just comes down to I don't need two IQRs. And the 440, although it's in much nicer condition than my LaValle sled, and very rare, I must add as well. I mean, come on, the LaValle sled is much more rare. We only really rode it once and then, well, twice, I guess, and uh, then the LaValle sled popped up and I just had to move on that and I've really been stuck in that LaValle sled ever since. This sled though is one of the cleanest 440s I think I've seen, well, obviously since back in the day, but these were only made for three years, so very rare snowmobiles, but super clean. Like you can see, this is the stock track and I mean, it hardly looks like there's any wear at all on there. Brand new wrap as well. We did take the Jaws race can off there. I figured that was a brand new can. I'll sell that at Heydays or something next year when we go. Put the old stock back on there. If he really wants the Jaws, he'll let me know. There she goes. How'd you do with the gear? Warm? Sweating. Sweating, yeah. Sweating. Wow, yeah. Thanks to your dad. You haven't even learned. To Jeff. He told me to tell you, man, you got some nice gear on there. Oh, he, told he me said that. Thank you. I got from this cool guy. At this point in time in the season, I'm still just getting used to the IQR chassis. He's got a brand new chassis. I mean, he's new to snowmobile and he's on a race sled now. So I don't know if it was the best choice, but it is a good sled. I'll only grow into it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Just get better and better. Yeah, this is, a, this is a quite a bit that you'll see on that footage where I hit it and came really kitty wampus. Oh, did you? <laughs> Yet to get, find the guy, the skidoo guy. We don't have a skidoo guy. Well, maybe I switched to skidoo. You wouldn't. Levi would stop talking to you. I mean, him and I are pretty much friends now, so we've been tight for a while now. Like one. Ever since you got a picture with him. At the Have Days? Yeah. No, that's Tucker Hibbert. You didn't meet Levi? No, I didn't meet Levi. He probably seen you and didn't want to meet you. It rained yesterday, now it's ice today. Little windy out here, so we'll kind of keep it simple. We got to talk to Levi LaValle. If you guys have been following this channel, you guys know that I bought this Team LaValle sled earlier in the season. And well, I had some questions with it and he answered the questions. At least most of the questions, the major ones. Now, on top of that, I've also now gotten to speak with all of the owners of this sled, period. Every single one aside from one, and I have had contact with them. So I did my best to answer all the questions myself, but I was able to get a hold of Levi and he really answered the questions that I just wasn't gonna be able to answer. Mainly, where was this sled used? Whose sled exactly was it? How many were built this way with all the mods? We got all that information. So you go back to that video where I initially bought this thing and showed it to Tommy and my girlfriend. Uh, I could kind of tell based on a few things, basically where the FXR is opposed to where the Oakley is. The team mod that's underneath the wrap, that has the rivets under the wrap, but it is extended. This is a 2013, it should have a 121 inch track. It has a 128 inch track. It was tough to exactly land this thing. You look in 2013 when this thing should have been used and you don't see this sled. Well, that's because this was used in 2014 as a mod sled. Essentially in the summer of 2013, they took these 2013s and turned them into mod sleds. It was a 600 motor on twin pipes. Of course, they took the headlights out, just screens in the hood. And then each racer on the team got two mod sleds. So basically Kyle Pauline, Levi LaValle, and Jake Scott. All in all, considering a few things have been altered, of course, someone removed my seat. That would have given me the name of the person who I had. This Mystic sticker should say lubricants and it actually comes down and rides the eyebrow. These were all little things that made it very difficult for me to figure out whose sled I had. So, there was only one person that could answer it, and that was Levi himself. Levi then explained that it's a one of six sled, basically each rider getting two, three riders, that makes six of these mod sleds that were made. Another really cool thing about this is this is the last season that Levi LaValle raced snowcross. So this was essentially the exact setup, the exact mod sled that Levi LaValle himself rode. Bad news though. It's not Levi LaValle's sled himself, it's Jake Scott's sled. He puts this sled at X Games in 2014. I think I should be able to have this custom made, the Mystic Lubricants little thing. Uh, there's a, a number of other sleds that still have them. I should be able to get the dimensions. I just want to keep this thing as original as I possibly can. Now, Levi also said he would sign my hood at Heydays. We're going to be in the swap meet spot this year, it sounds like, Tommy and I. So uh, I told him it might be Jake Scott's sled, but I still need a nice Love Alley signature on there. We'll see you at Heydays.
Man, my eyes are watering. Yesterday it was raining, it just wiped out our snow, but today she is windy and brisk. I'll keep you guys updated with the info as I find out more from the previous owners and all that stuff too, but that's the important info, straight from Levi himself. Man. Ball, ball since high school. Why don't you get a wig or something like that? Uh, but what kind of wig do I get? Mullet wig. A mullet? Yeah, mullet wig. Bald eagles. You got an Arctic hat. Uh, I don't know. That's a Yamaha thing. I think they're ugly. What? These IQRs. That fucker looks sick though. There's a lot of people that like them. Pretty, pretty, like pretty sweet sled, huh? I like it. I like it a lot. And I'm just, I don't know. I don't know where it is. There's something about them that I really like your fucking valley sign. Tell you what. Do ya? Oh, people do. Well, you do too. It's don't lie. You're ugly. It's like it's not even straight. Why is it fogging? What'd you do? <laughs> I'm gonna go try to do that to mine. Let's see if I can even get it to move. Let's see. Here. All right. All right. No, it's right here. What? Right here. Oh, that. Aren't these like five bucks on eBay? No, this is four four hundred ninety nine dollars. Oh, it's that edition. I'll catch back up with you over. Yeah, this thing is rusty. Right? No, it's not rusted. That's paint. Be a tiny tank. We drove like four miles and you ate half a tank up. This is why I'm scared of though. What? This is why I do flip on. Isn't yeah, you get caught on there. That's what I'm saying. I, I've noticed that. With it. Yeah, you're stuck. You're along for the ride. Yeah, that's why my fiance. She's like, don't die. She's nervous. You start talking about like, what's up, Kyle? How you build jumps? Fiance walks over and she's like, you're an idiot. Why? So you're gonna die. Be Look. safe, you idiot. And then I walk out. And that's the last thing she said. She'd be like, the last thing I said to him was like, you're an idiot. And then you, you're just gonna get good footage. Like, oh, best friend's dead. Why? Because I built him a hundred foot jump. No, that's not why. It's because you're on a cat. A tree or a power line and zapped. And man dies today hitting a hundred foot jump. The second time riding. I think like it should just be a testament. Look at how many cats you've been through. You've only been riding for two years. You've been through four cats. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, got took out by a piss brick. What's that? What's up with that? That's normal. That's an Arctic cat thing. No, yeah, you're right. That is, yeah. <laughs> that's very true. My goal is just to keep getting better and better, and I think that's your goal as well. Better and better. Better and better is the key. You know, if I put a sticker on, it's going to say gooder. Dipstick TV, you know, and then does not endorse this sled. We're trying to push through and get all this little side stuff done so we can just kind of focus on the content. I got a couple of things that are going to be coming out here. Uh oh, he's got a couple of things. As always, guys, appreciate you. Keep her tuned for the next one. Cue the music. Perfect.